Geeks. Hello, fellow geeks, and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather, and I'm glad you're here today because we are going to be taking a look at this year's race packet for the Run For It 5K put on by the charity to write love on her arms. Now, let me tell you a little bit about my history with this particular race. A few years ago, I was in a, a virtual running group, and we were all put together from uh, different houses across uh, the what is now known as the Potterhead Running Club. At the time, it was still called Hogwarts Running Club. But we were a group put together from all four houses that had all chosen to run for the charity to write love on her arms. And we had such a great time in that group that we all stayed in contact. And we found out that year that they had a live 5K put on by the charity in order to raise more funds. The charity itself supports people that are dealing with mental health issues and in suicide prevention. So it's something that really meant a lot to all of us and it's something that we all wanted to be involved in. So we registered either for the in-person race or for the virtual race for that year. And we had uh, some members of the group that met together to run it in person and the rest of us ran it at the same time at our own homes. And it was just a really cool bonding experience. And so we've participated in that virtually or in person when it was available ever since then. Now, last year, obviously, because of COVID, they had to do everything virtually. And the same goes for this year. They chose not to hold a live race this year. They're doing it all virtually this year. But we're all really hoping for next year that they can hold it as a live race so that some of us can meet up together again in Florida and run it all together. But for the time being, we are all still registering for the virtual race and we're choosing to run it on the date that they've selected, which is the 29th, so that's this Saturday, and earning our Run For It medals, Run For It being the name of the race that they put together. They always put a very nice race on. They usually have a very great shirt that we all like and we all wear regularly, and then they have a great medal to go with it. This year, they gave us a code in order to get the medal for free. So let's take a look at what came in the race kit this year. First of all, you get a booklet that tells you a little bit about to write love on her arms, some of the statistics of things that they have been able to accomplish and statistics that they're trying to, uh, to deal with, such as uh, two thirds of people who struggle with depression do not seek help. And so they are trying to make resources available so that people can seek help if it is something that they're dealing with. So it just tells you a little bit about their recovery programs, their scholarships, all the different levels of programs that they have available. A lot of information there about the group itself, which I'm going to have a link down below to their website if you would like to know more. They have a card here that is about their new app that they put together called The Hopeful. So you can download that and get more information about how to uh, deal with self-care in your daily life. They send you instructions on how to put together a virtual race for yourself if you've never done that before. And on the back, they encourage this for social media about I've come this far because, and then they encourage you to fill this in and put it up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and so on so that other people can be informed about this race and uh, you just talk about why you wanted to run this race, what it means for you, or perhaps a specific person that you're running for. Since you are running virtually, of course, it wouldn't be a virtual run without your virtual run bib. Here is this year's shirt. Nothing can take away how far you've come, and that is a great logo. They always have a great motto on the shirt every year. So this is a nice, comfortable cotton tee. And on the back, it has the logo for the Run For It 5K, as well as all the various To Write Love On Her Arms logos that they have used over the years. And finally, the Run For It 5K medal. This is a nice heavy black medal, and it's got a nice black ribbon on it with the charity name, To Write Love On Her Arms. And they always have this on their Run For It gear, What Will You Run For? So this is the 20, 21 run for it medal and this is going to hang with my other run for it medals that I've accrued over the years. So that's going to be the race that I am running over the course of this weekend. Looking forward to talking to the other members of my group that are also going to be running virtually this weekend so we can kind of see how our runs went. But 
If this is something that interests you, then I'm going to, again, have a link down below to the To Write Love on Her Arms website so that you can be filled in on all of the work that they do. If you found this fun or informative, make sure that you let me know by leaving a comment or giving this video a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. You can even hit the bell icon to be notified every time that I upload, which happens several times a week. I've got plenty of running content coming out all the time. You can also follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description. You can find me across most platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad that you could be here and I can't wait to see you next time. Happy running. Dink. Dink. <laughs>